Can we get to the word quickly? There's such an anointing in this place. But I want us to hear the word so that our faith can be built up. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. listen to me there are three things out of many things that God cannot do there are three most important of them all and it is, it is necessary that every believer should know these three things number one God cannot change Malachi 3 6 it says I am the Lord I change not therefore ye sons of Jacob are not consumed it means that the consistency of God is tied to his unchangeableness his immutability God cannot change we call him the unchangeable changer he changes things but he himself does not change and so every promise and every word that comes from him is tied to that the power that is in him that makes him unchangeable it means that whatever god has said to you he doesn't change his word he must bring it to pass you know i told somebody one time somebody asked me a question and i told the person the person said, if God cannot change his word, then why did he tell Abraham, sacrifice your son Isaac, and then later he said, don't kill him. I said, the reason is because God cannot change his word, but God can change his mind. Are you hearing me? No, you didn't hear what I said. You, you are still in your house. God cannot change his word, but God can change his mind. Yeah, you see that in Genesis chapter 6, the Bible says the Lord repented that he had made man. The word repent there in the Hebrew means to change your mind. Are you hearing what I'm saying? But if God has spoken something, that word must come to pass. So if God speaks and says, I will destroy, and the people plead for mercy, God will not remove that word again he has already spoken it so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth it shall not return void but it shall accomplish that which i please and prosper in the thing which i sent it isaiah 55 verse 11. what god will do is he will send another word to counter that word so it's like a missile when you send an intercontinental ballistic missile once it is shot, it doesn't go back. It must hit a target. So if the target it is heading to does not have anti-missile systems, they will have to send another missile to hit that missile. That's how the word of God is. God cannot change. Number two, God cannot lie. Numbers 23, 19 says, God is not a man that he should lie. Titus 1 verse 2 says, In the hope of eternal life, of which God who cannot lie, not will not lie, cannot lie, promised before time began. Cannot. Just like the devil can never say the truth. That's why when you have a problem as a believer and you go to seek or you go to consult dark powers, you have just, you have fallen into the trap of the devil as a liar. The devil cannot put a problem in your life and have the solution to it, no. Every good and perfect gift comes down from where? From above. Satan is no longer above. The Bible says, and has put all things under his feet, including principalities and powers. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? Uh -huh. Just like Satan cannot say the truth, God cannot lie. If he says, I will bless you, he meant it. God does not crack joke. He can laugh not because of a joke. In fact, the first time the Bible told us God laughed, it was judgment he was about to bring. <laughs> Men laugh because a joke is cracked. God doesn't laugh like that, no. He that sits in the heavens shall do what? Laugh. And then after that, the Bible says he will have them in derision. 
God does not, he cannot lie. And then number three, God cannot fail. If you failed, you failed before you knew God. Because those who know their God shall be strong and do exploit. Sometimes what we call failure in our life is actually a process that leads to greater success. You know, one thing with God is that in his ultimate plan for your life, the only visibility he allows the devil is he allows the devil to see how he can try to attack you to hinder what God wants to do in your life. But God does not allow the devil to see how that his attack is going to propel you into the fulfillment of what God wants. You are still at home. You are not here. Did you hear what I said? Yes, uh -huh. So God will allow the devil to see how that he can attack you. But he didn't allow the devil to see that that attack will propel you. For we know that all things work it together for the good of them that love God. And the them that are called according to his purpose. Romans chapter 8 in verse 29. 28 rather. The Bible says in Romans 8, 18. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared to the glory that will be revealed. God cannot fail. God cannot fail. God cannot lie. God cannot change. God cannot fail. That means if he has spoken a word to you, he's able to bring it to pass. Do you believe that tonight? He wasn't joking when he said he would lift you. He wasn't joking when he said he would settle you maritally this year. Even though you don't have any fiance. Even though the last time you were in a relationship was three years ago and it was messed up. God was not joking. When He doesn't need to consult anybody to say what he wants to do concerning you. All he needs to bring his word to pass is his word. No, you didn't hear what I said. You say, but apostle, why if, if, if God cannot fail, if God cannot lie, then why is it taking so long? And the more God is saying it, the more I'm seeing impossibilities around me. That's because he's God. That's how he works. He waits till, he waits till all the odds are stuck against you and there is no way. Then he just wakes up from sleep. And so, okay, I decide to do it now. He's God. He's accountable to no one. No one can question him. Let me tell you. The fact that you read in the Bible that Satan had a conversation with God doesn't mean that Satan is any match with God. No. Satan is no opposite to God at all. In fact, when he rebelled in heaven, it was another angel that was sent to dispatch him. Satan only had that conversation because God permitted it. In fact, the Bible even said that when the sons of God came to present themselves, only God knew what they were presenting themselves for. Maybe for judgment or maybe for rebuke. Because if you read Job chapter 4, you see that God judges angels too. Ah, that's too deep for you. <laughs> Satan, the Bible says Satan also came him too. You know, it was like a day of accountability. Everybody just showed. He knew that, yes, I'm in for trouble today. God is, why are you causing havoc? And then he wasn't expecting that God was going to have a conversation with him. And that conversation just shows how foolish the kingdom of darkness is. Because when you read the end of the book, you discover that God was not in the business of punishing Job. He was looking for what he will use. To lift Job. The Bible says that the end of Job was greater than. Because trials are always the examinations for greater glory. So the devil thought that God was interested in destroying Job. No. Are you here? I'm saying it tonight because every word that will come to you today. I want you to hold it. Catch it and hold it with your entire life. Look at that testimony. Right there in the service, the alert came. If your faith can be stretched enough to receive today, some of you will not need to go home before the miracles happen. And God will do you good tonight in the name of Jesus. Matthew chapter 9 
I want to speak for a few minutes and then we'll rise up to pray. Matthew chapter 9 from verse 1 to 8. Matthew chapter 9 from verse 1 to 8. Thank you, Jesus. Matthew chapter 9 from verse 1 to 8. Maybe I should just read from my Bible here. So he got into a boat, crossed over, and came to his own city. Then, behold, they brought to him a paralytic lying on a bed. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Son, be of good cheer. Your sins have forgiven you. And at once, some of the scribes within themselves said within themselves, This man blasphemes. But Jesus, knowing their thoughts, said, You know Jesus knows our thoughts? Huh? Okay, he will reveal your, the thoughts of some of you today. Did you hear what I said? Yes, Jesus will reveal your thoughts today. Yes. So better start sanitizing them. But Jesus, knowing their thoughts, said, Why do you think evil in your heart? For which is easier? To say your sins are forgiven you or to say arise and walk but that you may know that the son of man has power on earth take note of that word power on earth to forgive sins then he said to the paralytic arise take up your bed and go to your house so to prove to them that the same power that forgives sins is the same power that heals because the bible says in psalms 103 verse 3 who forgiveth your iniquities and heals your diseases. That's why Jesus turned and spoke to the paralytic man. Arise, take up your bed and go to your house. And he arose and departed to his house. Now when the multitude saw it, they marveled and glorified God, who had given such power to men. God bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. The same word power in verse 6 is the same word power in verse 8. The word there is the word exousia. It means authority. 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 In other words, when the ability of one is delegated to another, or when someone is given the responsibility of acting in place of another person, that's what it means. Authority. Delegated authority. Delegated authority. It says that the Son of Man has power on earth. You know, authority is always with jurisdiction. That's why he said that the Son of Man, are you here? That the Son of Man has power on earth. On earth. So the delegated authority that was given to the Son of Man, the jurisdiction for that authority to find expression is on earth. That's why he said the Son of Man had power on earth to forgive sins and to prove that he had the power the authority that god had given to him because the power now is not in ability it's in delegated responsibility delegated authority he spoke to the man that was paralyzed and he stood up and walked and the bible says they rejoiced and they marveled that god had given such authority to men that a man can act in the same place as god that a man can speak and his word will be confirmed and honored and will find expression on the earth just the same way it will if it was God who spoke. That the marvel that God had given such authority, such authority. I told you that authority is not without jurisdiction. In John chapter 5, in verse 27. The Bible speaks of the Son of Man and the authority that the Father had given to him. John chapter 5 in verse 26 and 27. The Bible says, For as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son to have life in himself and has given him authority to execute judgment also because he is the Son of Man. That means that that authority will find expression within the territory of the earth authority is with jurisdiction 
is with jurisdiction now in genesis chapter 1 we understand that god's intention for making man in his image was that man was going to carry the authority of god to act in god's stead on the earth he said let us make man in our image and after our likeness in our image means let him be a carrier of our authority before that time god alone had sovereign power to act in all the realms he had created but god created man to act on his behalf so that man will be the god that the earth knows man will will mirror the authority that can only come from the highest throne in the universe which is god that was god's purpose for making man it says that let him have dominion over the fish of the sea over the beds of the air and the cattle and every creeping thing on the land so the the, the the authority and the dominion god has given to man will manifest in three dimensions aquatic which is in the water territorial which is on earth or terrestrial and then atmospheric which is in the air god gave man and you have seen in modern times that even man that is not born again in his natural state has manifest that manifested that authority by creating technological innovations that has conquered the laws governing these three dimensions we have submarines we have ships we have yacht man has created what can float on water and what can stay underwater man has created planes that can fly even higher than some beds and so many things all of that is the manifestation of that authority that god gave to man 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 not to a christian to man but it was stolen by the devil and that is the reason why jesus had to come in the likeness of adam you see that in romans chapter 5 jesus had to come in the likeness of adam who is man to retrieve and restore that authority or that dominion back to man because if it belonged to man and it was taken from man, it would take a man to restore it back to man. I'm talking about authority over all things on earth. Authority over disease, authority over situations. That's why I told you two Sundays ago that I have an MSc. I'm a master over situations and circumstances. Authority over events, authority over things, authority over people, over animals, authority over all things on earth. God has given it to man. That was why the Son of Man could manifest that authority. You see the way Jesus performed miracles in his days. He only needed to speak. In fact, the Bible says in Matthew chapter 8, in verse 16 and 17, that when the evening was come, they gathered to him those who were sick and demon-possessed. And he casted out the spirit with a word and healed those who were sick that it might be fulfilled that which was written of him that he himself took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses that's matthew 8 16 17. why because god had given man authority and it was the responsibility of jesus who came in the likeness of flesh the son of man to restore that authority back it is with that authority that you can explore and exploit the power of God to work. Because the power of God is contained in the universe that he created. But it is with the authority that God has given man that you can take advantage of that power and cause it to manifest. Or you can deploy that power to manifest the way you want it in every situation whatsoever. God gave authority to man. Now, there are three ways. Let me move from authority to power now. Authority is right. Is responsibility. Jurisdiction of, of, of operation. But power is ability to perform. And this power of course the bible says in psalm 16 verse 12 once has he spoken and twice i've heard that power belongs to god so all power in the universe belongs to god and there are three ways by which you can tap into the power of god number one either by intimacy 
when you walk in constant communion with the Holy Spirit, intimacy and intercourse with the Holy Spirit allows you the privilege of tasting and of manifesting the very power of God. The Holy Spirit himself is the embodiment of the power of God. So when a man comes into union with the Holy Spirit, he has submerged himself in a pool of power, of God's power, and he gives him the privilege to manifest it. So one of the principles by which you can deploy the power of God or you can manifest the power of God is through intimacy with God. Another, another dimension or another way by which you can access it is through principles and laws. When God created the universe, he created everything to function by a law or by a principle. Because principles and laws are consistent and guarantee you predictable outcomes when engaged. For instance, there is a power on the earth's surface that clinches everything on it to the center of the earth. It's called the force of gravity. Isn't it? So that you don't jump and you are suspended in the air. Is that true? Good. Now that is the power of God. In physics we call it gravity. But that's actually the power of God. That science has been able to decode. Has been able to crack. Before physics existed. That power and that force was at work. Is that true? Yes, very very true. So if a man understands the laws and the principles of the kingdom of God, he can harness the potential of God's power. For instance, the power of God to prosper is factored into the law of giving. He says, why the earth remains? Seed time and harvest. He didn't say harvest and seed time. He didn't say seed time and harvest time. That means the harvest time is determined by the seed time. So if a man engages the law of giving, of seed, you will definitely enter into a harvest of prosperity. Whether you are an unbeliever or a believer. It's a principle God has kept. Anybody that understands and engages that principle will deploy the power of God and you, that, is, that is captured in it to his or advantage. Another way by which we can access and harness the power of God it's through covenants and ordinances. And I will explain this one a little bit. A covenant is a binding agreement between two entities. You know, I didn't say two people because <laughs> a covenant doesn't only exist in the natural. Covenant also exists in the spirit world. In fact, that's the language of the spirit realm. Covenant. Between two entities. One will have to be the greater and the other one the lesser. So the covenant is so that by the obedience of both parties to the mutual agreement between them. The lesser can enjoy the privileges of the greater. Why the greater will enjoy the worship and the submission that comes from the lesser. That is why spirit in interacting with men will always want to have it done within the confines or the economy of a covenant. A spirit cannot trust you until he enters a covenant with you. Is that true? And there are people that the devil has entered into a covenant to give them riches and fame in exchange for their soul. So once a man understands the system, the mysteries of covenants and ordinances, he has gotten access to one of the ways by which you can deploy the power of God to manifest. Ordinances and covenant. You know, that's why I said, I am the Lord God, I change not. Aha. So on the strength of the fact that God does not change, you can come into an agreement with him. And even most of the times when you don't fulfill your part, because he's unchangeable, even to his word, you have trapped God in a way that even when... That is why Israel, the, the more they made God go crazy about them with their sins, the more God remained faithful to them. In fact, the Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 2, I believe from verse 11 there about, it says, if we deny him, he cannot deny himself. If we are unfaithful, he remains faithful. 12 and 13, you'll see there. 
if we are unf if we are unfaithful he remains faithful because he cannot deny himself so when you walk through 2024 and by reason of your obedience and submission with to god you come into a covenant with god if at any time you get god to say something to you he has made a commitment through his word i i guarantee you whether rain or sunshine whether dry or wet season whether the economy is up or down whether people die or people are alive that word that commitment that god has made will remain intact and that's why i encourage those of us that are young walk with god now in the way that you will enter into certain covenants with god that will create some transgenerational economy around your lineage there is something you can have with god that even if your grandchildren don't know god they will still prosper of course god is not condoning their sin but somebody made a covenant with god he said i'm the god of abraham it's not a name he's calling it's a covenant so when God says, I will bless you, you didn't ask, you didn't tell him to talk. He spoke. Abi? He remains bonded to his word. That's why he doesn't talk always. So if in your place of prayer, you can get God to speak to you. You can get him to make a promise to you. Forget it. That's why some pastors will come and say, I can never be poor. You think they are boasting in yourself? No. They have backing from the one who rules and reigns in the affairs of men. Are you getting blessed? That, that is where your work, this is, your work with God should be able to harness one or, the, or these three. One of, of these three or the entire three. You will see the power of God in such a consistent level that people will think God is on you. So the authority that God has given to man is meant to harness this power that I talk about. It is with this power that we can cause change on the earth. It is with this power that we can cause restoration. It is with this power that we can bring according to God's divine order. Correct that which is not and bring it according to God's divine order. With the power of God. Let's, let's talk more a little bit about power because I know some of you, that's what you like. You like power, power, power. <laughs> so I've taught you the three ways by which you can harness the power of God. Now let me teach you the various institutions where God hides his power. Yeah, because God hides his power. Habakkuk chapter 3 verse 4 I will show you something that witches know. And that's why they brag anyhow. And after today, when a witch brags before you, you laugh at them to their face. The Bible says he bright, his brightness. Let's start from verse 3. God came from Teman, the holy God from Mount Paran. Uh, that's how it starts. God came from Teman, the holy one from Mount Paran. His glory covered the heavens and the earth was full of his praise. Just go on. I can teach in a worship meeting with that verse 3 and show you how to access the glory of God. His brightness was like the light. He had rays flashing from his hand and there his power was hidden. So in as much as you have the authority that God has given to man to harness his power to bring change, the fact remains that that power is hidden. You need to know where God has hidden his power and be able to deploy it to manifest first of all the power of god is hidden in himself once has he spoken twice have i heard that what belongs to who he hides this in himself romans 1 verse 20 speaks of the invisible things of god even his godhead and his power the Godhead, the Godhead is the ultimate embodiment of God's power. God the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit combine the Godhead 
each of them reveal a manifestation of his power within him so that means you will need to know god to be able to deploy and that is the power of the highest that's what the bible calls it in luke chapter 1 when the angel gabriel spoke to mary he said the holy spirit will come upon you and the power of the most high or the power of the highest that is the power that comes from the godhead himself hmm? mm -hmm. didn't he say behold i give unto you power So the Godhead, number one, that is the first and the ultimate institution or entity that carries the embodiment of God's power. Number two, the Holy Spirit. Oh, sorry. I've, I said the Godhead, so the Holy Spirit is part of them. Number two, God hides his power in spirit beings and infrastructures. Spirit beings, spirit agencies, spirit infrastructures. You know that the realm of the spirit is a real world. Just the way you have everything on this earth. You have transportation system on this earth. And the transportation systems are different. A donkey is one of it, isn't it? A camel is another one. A car. A bus. A ship. A plane. All of them with different speeds and velocity. So also in the realm of the spirit, there are different modes of transportation. And the fastest is the word of God. Uh, in heaven, when God speaks, it appears. That's just it. And Jesus demonstrated it. Rise up, pick up your mat and walk. And the person will stand up immediately and go. The realm of the spirit is a real realm. There are beings in that realm. I want you to listen, listen. Because something is happening to your faith. So that your eyes in the spirit can see. Before we stand up now and God begins to do miracles. There are spirit beings. There are spirit agencies. Just like you have agencies in the natural. There are agencies in the realm of the spirit. If there is a, an agency that controls the administration of food and drugs, there are agencies too like that in the realm of the spirit. Both divine and demonic. If a demonic agency is mounting surveillance on an individual's life, you will know. You will just see a blockade around that person. He thinks he's dealing with one demon. He's dealing with a demonic agency. You know you can you can decide to travel to the United States and it will not be possible except you go to the US embassy and obtain a visa and once that embassy refuses you even if you get no plane will admit you because they will look for your passport to see a visa stamp from the US embassy that's how there are embassies in the realm of the spirit There are spiritual infrastructures. All of these things are where God hides his power. Just like we have angelic beings. No, I pray God gives you an encounter one day. Angels, they are not like you think. Oh. They are not like you think. Oh. That's why they are called angelic beings. It's not all of them that look like men. Some of them are terrible in their looks. Some of them look like what they are sent to do. <laughs> now the Bible speaks of a creature who had eyes all around it. And then you will see in 2 Chronicles 16 verse 9 that the eyes of God go to and through the earth. You think God will leave his throne and go through out there? Is God like devil? No. The one of the ways that God, man God, 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 establishes his omnipresence is through angelic beings and angelic infrastructures he has created so there's an angel that has eyes all around if god wants to see everything happening in a place he just deploys that being 
you know these things are strange to you because you have decided your christianity will just be around prayer and that is it i'm inviting you in 2024 to higher dimensions with god why do you think satan in the natural trying to attack people will use bed will use cat will use this one because he doesn't have the supply of those of those infrastructures so he has to make take advantage of natural things when god needed to end a war in heaven who did he send michael that's an agent that's an angel and an agency of its own one time in our service i think it was a year or two years ago we were praying in the mirror i think a miracle service like this and the lord opened my eyes and i saw what looked like an angel but this angel was made of metal he was not wearing metal you know those knights of those days wearing metal i'm saying that this one is not wearing it he's made of it standing with the sword like that so when god says leave vengeance for me he knows what he's saying when you send that kind of angel to a shrine who, who will come out alive was it not one angel he sent that destroyed 180,000 of the Assyrians do you think the angel went and was stabbing all of them no one time there was, there was God was angry with David because he numbered Israel and the punishment was that he released a plague over Israel in the natural what they saw was disease they didn't understand the disease because they couldn't see it it was like an airborne disease people would just fall down and die and in three days seventy thousand men died but in the realm of the spirit the bible told us in second Samuel 24 that it was an angel that was sent with a sword once that angel passed anything dies these are these are spiritual agencies that carry the embodiment of god's power if you understand the laws of the spirit you know how to harness them And this is the understanding that lifts you from being a powerless to a victorious Christian. Another embodiment of the power of God is creation. Everything that God created carries some form of power in it. Everything. Man, animals. And then finally, the elements of nature. Water, wind, all of those elements. They carry the power of God in them. And it is this dimension that witches and wizards of the highest order take advantage of. The power of God. Let me use a, a, more, simpler, a, a more simple word. Not more simpler. A more simple word. Let me use a simple word. To explain it energy all right aha uh -huh. so we know energy as in emotions say ah he has negative energy that's power now the elements water wind all of these things the planets the stars all of them carry a deposit of the power of god that is the reason why they are consistent tomorrow morning now the sun will rise and by evening the moon will come out the reason why these elements of nature are consistent is because there is a deposit of, of the power of God in them. Let me show you a scripture. Jeremiah 31, 35 to 37. It says, Thus says the Lord who gives the sun for a light by day, the ordinances of the moon. You see the word ordinance is there. It means divine laws, divine secrets, divine precepts of the moon and the stars by, for a light by night who disturbs the sea and its waves roar. The Lord of hosts is his name. Go on, quickly. If those ordinances depart from me, says the Lord, then the seed of Israel shall also cease from being a nation before me forever. That means that God tied the consistency of the nation of Israel to the consistency of the elements 
that is why witches and wizards of the highest order one of the ways they manipulate the destinies of people is to take advantage of the power in the elements the planetary bodies and if they can cause a disalignment in the heavens there is a disalignment in somebody's destiny yes, the meaning of the word epilepsy is moonstruck moonstruck when they say somebody is a lunatic the word luna means moon in latin moonstruck it means that somebody played with the power that comes from the moon and how it connects to the, the brain of a person and the person is operating in a strange way somebody say power that's how they do it so witches and wizards of the highest level study the power of god's ordinances hidden in the elements to manipulate it manipulate it against the destinies of people manipulate it against the generations of families manipulate it against nations there are nations that no matter what they do they remain poor why there are forces at work some spirits have 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 broken into the codes around the elements within those regions within those territories there are some cities you go to you find all across their roads drinking bars that's the spirit of drunkenness so no matter what you do an average man in that city when he collects his salary where is he going to the beer parlor some of them are transcended from beer parlor to beer garden to beer concert. Huh? Mm -hmm. There are families that are so blessed with farming, but they never progress or prosper in agriculture. They can farm, but they, nothing they farm will produce. They just remain small scale. Why? maybe somebody has taken advantage of the ordinances in the element you know the earth is an element too if the earth is reprogrammed against the person no matter what you do except you access the power of the highest forget it that's why i said this is how charm works they just do it and go and sleep and enslave somebody for years that's what's responsible for certain people's delay in marital settlement delay in getting a job every time you find delay somebody somewhere has probably harnessed the power of the elements to work against the person there are people that the air around them has been reprogrammed to work against them so anywhere they enter they carry an evil air literally some people will even come near them and they are smelling why somebody has engaged the power of ordinances but god has given us authority ha, you see god did <laughs> what god did to man after putting this power in all these institutions he came and gave man authority you you don't have power but what you have is authority to take control and to deploy the power he says in luke 10 19 behold i give unto you authority to tread upon snakes and scorpion a scorpion has the ability and the power to sting a snake has the ability to bite and to kill but i give you authority to reprogram their power to work in your favor to step upon them and know the powers of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you that that authority was restored by jesus to man the Bible said where we read in Matthew chapter 9 that they blessed God, they glorified God who had given such authority to men. Jesus demonstrated this authority over many things, including the elements. You know, I told you that witches and wizards like to manipulate the elements more. That's the highest realm of the power that they can operate. But even Jesus himself demonstrated authority over the elements. The Bible says he, he rebuked the wind and spoke to the sea. In Mark chapter 4 verse 39, he rebuked the wind and spoke to the sea. When you rebuke, you are supposed to be rebuking a human being. Is the wind a human being? No. But at that time, the wind was operating. There were spirits manipulating the wind against him. And he knew that the, the, what God had given to man was authority over the elements. 
that means you can speak to the wind and it obeys you in ezekiel 37 he says son of man not son of god son of man son of man he says speak to the wind from the four corners of the earth and say oh breath come forth and breathe upon this one that means that without authority you can speak to the wind wherever my destiny helpers are as long as they are breathing in oxygen may the air that they breathe in gravitate maro shaka kapalata we are talking authority tonight because we are going to pray this night and once and for all some 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 satanic entrenchment will come to an end You can speak to the earth under you. That witch that wants to try you in the village. She be that they put their two legs on the ground. It's all right. Jeremiah 22, 29 says, O oh, earth, 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 hear the word of the Lord. As I pity a witch that wants to try me. I pity you, except I don't know it's you. If I know it's you, You are glorious, so glorious. We are going to pray. Listen. And when Jesus died on the cross, he arose from the dead. And in Matthew 28, he spoke to them and said, All authority in heaven and earth has been given to me. He said, Now go. The moment he said go he released that authority to believers he said now go go and act on my behalf in another scripture he says as the living father has sent me i think that's john 20 he says so send i you the moment you come into christ as a believer you have been given the privilege of accessing that authority given to the son of man that gives him control over all the elements and all of creation that power, that authority is at your disposal. With it, you can create changes in the natural that fits with God's plan and will concerning you. That power, that authority has been given, with you, uh, given to you for you to create a distortion in the natural. A reign of terror that has existed for generations. You can come in one generation and break the cycle and break the flow and determine a new cycle according to God's divine order. He said, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. And I've given it to you. How do we exercise that authority? Just one tonight and then we'll pray. By understanding the power that is in the name of Jesus. The authority is in the name. Simple. Is in the name. Therefore God has highly exalted in Philippians 2, 9 and 10. And giving him a name that is above every other name. That at the name Jesus. He didn't say at the mention. At the name. It is recognized both by the visible and the invisible creation. Even by principalities and powers. Whom he has been made head over. According to Colossians chapter 2 verse 10. By that name Jesus. It says every knee shall bow. The need there is not talking about human beings alone. Your knee speaks of your weakest point. If I hit you on your knee, there's a reflex action that will happen. You will drop immediately, isn't it? So when the Bible says every knee, don't just look at human beings alone. Look at the weakest point of every situation. That means that every situation around your life has a weak point. Alama karabu kosudia. The authority in the name of Jesus targets that weak point and hits it so that every knee shall bow and every tongue, including the tongue of Ezemo, including the tongue of witches and wizards, of malams. You know, when I hear that people go to malams, I just laugh. Maybe one day when I've, I'm fed up with the Holy Ghost, I'll just ask somebody, take me to where those malams are. So, okay, all of you say you are malams, but I'll sit down. Oh yeah, afflict me. Let's see. I give you one hour. That's what Ayo Babalola of CAC did. He went to a village to preach the gospel where there were witches and wizards. You know, once you demonstrate power, there's no need to preach again. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ for it is the power of God unto salvation. 
How did he preach? He rang bell and everybody gathered. I said, let all the witches gather. Then he sat down and said, let them afflict him and kill him. He gave them one hour. They did everything they could do. One hour he was still seated. Then he stood up and he called down fire from heaven and consumed their tree where they used to meet. All of them submitted. No, after that one, if you don't submit, it's death now. One day when I'm fed up, I've just take. I don't know, maybe you know, you, you used to go to the mall and me, I don't know. Just take me there. Okay, let me see the charm you people have. That people believe that when, when the supernatural manifests, you, you find believers believing more that it comes from the devil than from God. Has your God been so powerless like that? Well, get ready for a good news. If your God has been powerless today, you will see my God at work. Yes. That at the name Jesus, every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. That name is our mantra. That name is the symbol of his authority invested in us. That the way Jesus acted on earth, he had power over everything. Even death, he was the one. He didn't die. He submitted himself. They flogged him. They put the crown of tongues on him. They nailed him. He was bleeding everywhere. Still death could not take him. It was him that said, into your hands, I commit my spirit. And the Bible says in 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 18, that he went down to hell and preached to those who were in the prisons. And in Ephesians chapter 4, the Bible says he ascended up high from there and he led captivity captive. What kind of a man is that? He had authority over things. Brothers and sisters, if you are a child of God, he has given you that authority. You don't know how many things can bow when you mention that name. That's why you mention it and still panic. Mention it and go and sleep. You don't need to teach it what to do. Is a code in the name in the realm of the spirit that at the name Jesus he said, This sign shall follow them that believe. Not that they will perform signs, the signs will hear and follow them that believe in my name. Bible says in Acts chapter 8 of a man called Philip, an usher in church went into a city called Samaria and humbled the city. The Bible says that the multitude gave heed to what he said because they heard and they saw the miracles that he did for unclean spirits came out of people what was it about a man that spirits you cannot see will hear and obey what do the spirits see that you are just preaching and people are manifesting is a seal of the name that carries the highest authority so they may be powerful but i have authority and god has given me the authority to exercise over everything whether sickness whether situations whether events i can decide i'm tired of poverty in my lineage and speak to it and it departs and call for prosperity from the ends of the earth the bible says in job 38 verse 12 has thou commanded thy morning and cause the day spring to know his praise that he may take hold of the ends of the earth and shake out the wicked from it. It's the authority. That is what performs the deliverance that you need. The sickness that checks out and the healing comes is the authority that God has given us in that name. Tonight, that authority will be manifested. Are you ready tonight? I want you to insist that everything that is not of God this night will live your life. I want you to insist for a miracle. You've been begging for too long. Tonight, by your faith, I want you to insist that God, I must see it happen. God, I must see it manifest. If you are a God that changes all things, then I want an instant change. Was it not the word of a, of a man who was even under the law? Elisha, he said, by this time tomorrow, even though the name of Jesus had not been bequeathed to man, yet a man could tap into that authority. And the economy of an entire nation changed. When you work with this authority, huh, people will thank God that they have you in their lives. No. 
No. It will be a privilege when people find you around their relationship space. Some of you can carry that authority and compel a continuous atmosphere of favor. A time comes where you are no longer just experiencing favor. Your atmosphere is favor. It's like your perfume. If you walk into an office, they will be favored. You walk into a, a, a place where they don't even know God. They are not serving God. But all of a sudden, they are prospering. You walk into a city and the entire city experiences a transformation because you understand the authority that you carry. You can, and I tell you, a time will come when you have grown in your consciousness of that authority that you will not need to pray for people. You can send a text message. A text message from your phone carries the same power if you had spoken it. Who is like him? Lion and the lamb seated on the throne. Mountains bow down and the ocean roar to the Lord of hosts. Who is like the lion and the lamb seated on the throne? Mountains bow down and the oceans roar to the Lord of all. Was it last Sunday or last two Sundays? I shared with you a testimony of the fact that I traveled somewhere and I spoke to my host and told him of a promotion that will come to him. It happened in December. It was last Sunday, two Sundays ago. On Monday, I got a text from him. He said, sir, I've been promoted and I was awarded the best performing staff for the year 2023. That God had given such authority to man. You can speak to systems. You can speak to structures. They can hear you. Who says they can't hear you? It's English language that says there's personification. That they are not living things. Everything is a living thing in the realm of the spirit. It can hear you. Everything can hear you. And I'm not joking when I said it. Everything can hear. Five broad can hear. How do I see a problem in somebody's organ? And then instantly the pain goes. Even pain can hear. Poverty can hear. It depends on who is speaking. Carry a microphone and shout without the conscious understanding of that authority. It will remain there. And even build houses. But when one that understands that Jesus became the son of man so that sons of men will become sons of God and that he has given us all authority in heaven and on earth. When you understand that and speak, poverty will pack. I told somebody, I said, my first son see i'm not even married but i already know it will be a first son i don't care what that what I, whatever the plan is the biology is me i've already declared it it must be a boy that will come out when you tell him that i was once poor he will swear on the life of his father you know you're not supposed to swear but he has to go to that extent to prove to you that you are lying i found the key in your seated positions lift your voice and pray in the spirit Something is changing. Something is shifting around your life. Something is shifting. By the authority of the Spirit. Takapratakapratabada, 
Something must change tonight. Something must change tonight. Something must change tonight. Insist for a miracle. Silo pora hata ga 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 Sela maratiti abata. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. A change must come tonight in my life. A miracle, a manifestation of the power of God. Ke prosheka tabaradia, rekete balabrate ke kavaya su. Listen, you know, I wonder when I read John chapter 6, when Jesus multiplied bread, there's a part of that story where I, 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 I always take time to think why Jesus made such a statement. The Bible says Jesus told them, he said, give them something to eat. He knew that they were in the desert. There was no food. There was no canteen anywhere. There was no restaurant, no grocery store. Jesus said, give them something to eat. It was as though Jesus was trying to push them to walk into the supernatural. Obviously, he knew that naturally there was nothing that could be done about that situation. It was more like Jesus was trying to push them to activate the supernatural. Maybe he was, in his mind, he was saying, Abba, Peter, didn't you remember when I met you in Luke chapter 5? When I told you to fish at the wrongest time of the day and you caught fish that sank two boats. But you know, as human beings, because they lacked understanding, they started calculating economics. They say, even if we use so so amount and buy a man called E.W. Kenyon, one of the generals of the faith who has gone, he walked in this understanding and he had so much creative miracles in his ministry. They were building their church one day. Well, okay, it wasn't E.W. E. Kenyon. It was E.W. Kenyon who would look at a broken bone and speak to it and it would mend there. It was uh, this, this, is it Father Francis now? This priest. I, or is, what's the Patrick, St. Patrick, yes. They were building a church, a monastery, rather. You know, a monastery is where monks stays. They were building a monastery and wood had finished the wood 
was couldn't complete a particular length. He went and held the wound and dragged it and completed it. He said, nail it. It is when you grow in the consciousness. It doesn't happen in one day. But when you absorb yourself in the consciousness of this authority, you will not know when you begin to speak and miracles happen in your life like snow falling. This is the dimension that, that God wants us to operate in. Tonight you will see God move in your life. Let's start with the prayer points. Please, if you have written your prayer point, I want you to submit it. Let there be baskets that will go around. You can remain seated if you want to, but just submit it quietly. I'm going to be worshipping God now. The presence of God is strong in this place. Give me G. For thou hast created all things and for thy pleasures they are all well created. For thou hast created all things and for I'm singing the song this afternoon while I was dressing up I heard the song in my spirit when I sing it there are some angels that will come in this place then we'll get into the miracle service can you give me from now until 7 o'clock 
It's not even an enough, it's not enough time. The prophetic will even consume that time. But let's see what God can do within this small time. Pray in the spirit where you are. Holy Spirit, do your own thing. Just pray in the spirit. Do your own thing. Holy Spirit. of God is here. Thou canst believe all things are possible. All things. I'd like you to know tonight that the power of God that is here gives us access for the possibility of all things. Anything can happen. Things are possible tonight. Creator of the universe, what can't you do? What can't you do, Jesus? You are the name above every other name. What 
nothing that God cannot do. He says he has not called the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain. There is nothing that is not possible in this place. There is absolutely nothing impossible. Can we pray for the sick now? If you know you have ulcer, put your hand on your chest or wherever the ulcer is. Just put your hand on your chest. Don't lift your hand. Just put your hand on your chest. You know where you feel the pain. Just put your hands there. Please, you know, just follow the instruction given. That's why you should pay attention. Listen, okay? This is how the healing phase will start. God says he wants to heal also now. If you are feeling the pain now or the discomfort now, if you are feeling it while your hand is on your chest, lift the other hand up. Let me see. The discomfort or the pain of also, if you feel it now, now as we are talking, if you are feeling it now, while your hand is on your chest, lift the other hand up. Let me see you. I'm not calling you out. Let me just see you. I just want to be sure. Lift it very well, please. Let me see you. All right. So quite a number of them. It's all right. Put your hands down. Let's pray. The healing is going to be easy. No stress. The glory of God is already in this place. And holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Holy, holy, holy. Just strings. Yes. The saints and the angels bow. The redeemed worship you now. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, that devil of ulcer, I stretch my right hand right now, all across this congregation and those following online. Let ulcer leave your body now. I command the pain and the symptoms and the discomfort to leave now. Also, go in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now check yourself. Press that place or check if the discomfort is there. If it's not there, lift your hand up. Let me see you. Lift your hand. If your hands are lifted up, come forward. Please come. If the pain has disappeared, come. The pain, the discomfort, come. Some of you keep checking yourself. While they are coming out, God is still healing some people of ulcer. Those of you streaming online, once you notice that it is gone, let us know. Type in your, your testimony on the comment section. 
Are you celebrating God for this? Look at this number. Look at this number. More people are still getting healed. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Listen. You know, when I said go in the name of Jesus, it left, it left immediately. Because I understand the authority that is in that name. When you have that understanding, you don't need to say too many words to get results done. No. That's why when Jesus healed people, he would say, be healed of your infirmity. Just the way you can say, be blessed. And that is it. And somebody's entire life changes. You don't need to struggle. When you have an understanding of the authority that God has given to us in his name. How many are they? Bishop, count them for me now. Help, help me. Seventeen. Now, this is what you do. Take them aside. Get all their testimonies. Document it. Alright? Let's know how long the condition has been. Alright? Let's know how long. Somebody just came in now. God just healed somebody. Can we pray for the sick now? Can we pray now? Can we pray now? Put your hand where the sickness is. Put your right hand where it is. If it's a blood condition or it's in the delicate part of your body, just put your right hand on your chest. If you are standing in for somebody, lift your right hand up. God is going to heal them. If you have faith to call the person and put your phone on while I pray, do so. Quickly, you have just 20 seconds to be ready. Those of you following online, put your right hand wherever the sickness is. If it is a blood condition or at a delicate part of your body, put your right hand on your chest. God is going to heal you now. There's an anointing for growth. Growths are dissolving right now. I mean it. Growths are dissolving right now. Growths are dissolving right now. There's somebody online. There's a growth in your body that just melted now. Yes, it's swelling. A growth in your body that just melted now. Please get us your testimony to prove to them that God spoke. Get us your testimony. Somebody online, a growth is swelling. Just melted. Just went down. Right now. Can we pray? I want you to say the amen at the top of your voice. In the name of Jesus. Now, Father, I take authority against affliction against infirmity against disease against sickness and in the name of jesus i command you go i command you go in the name of jesus whatever the sickness is we speak to it right now let that devil of infirmity let you your body go now let that devil leave your body alone now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Cancer, hear me. Be healed. Cancer of any kind, be healed now. Pain of any kind or any sort, I command you, disappear now. Disappear now. Disappear now. Hear me, Bishop. There are two people that God is touching there now of another sickness. Now, there are two people that God is touching now, right now, of another sickness is disappearing. Any pain in your body, I command it to disappear now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Symptoms that you don't understand in your body in your bloodstreams in your muscles your bones your tissues i command those symptoms to disappear never to resurface again 
asthma be healed in the name of Jesus and any respiratory condition it comes to an end now in the name of Jesus headaches of any kind be healed now in the name of Jesus Christ my grain go in the name of Jesus any form of tumor disappear now disappear now in the name of Jesus I command sinusitis to be healed occasionally there's somebody here it's like blood comes out of your nose I don't know why occasionally either when you blow your nose or something or you put your hand in your nose occasionally you see blood blood sometimes mixed with muko little God is healing you right now right now in fact one of you you are feeling something going through your nose down to your lungs right now that's the healing power of God that affliction is arrested right now in the name of Jesus there's somebody with problem around your cheeks I don't know what it is but this problem is like pains and heaviness God is healing you right now around your cheeks pains and heaviness be healed now your joy is becoming light be healed in the name of Jesus any swelling in your mouth is dissolved right now any missing tooth let that tooth appear now no you didn't hear me I said any missing tooth in your mouth let it appear now any tooth with a hole be filled now in the name of Jesus Christ God is doing a lot of healing anything that is wrong around your chest and your abdomen region all your organs within your chest and your abdomen region any kind of sickness whatsoever I, I bring it to an end now I speak to your heart and I declare that it is healed now your lungs are healed right now I speak to your liver your kidneys your pancreas your intestines your stomach I declare them healed in the name of Jesus. There's somebody with pains around your joints. Is it pain or weaknesses around your joints? Either pain or weakness. You feel pain or weakness around your joints. Especially your legs. Right now strength is coming. Strength is coming. Begin to jump or swing your hands. God has healed you right now. I said God has healed you now in the name of Jesus HIV disappears forever I declare healing to your blood in the name of Jesus Christ there's somebody that's supposed to go for an operation on something in your body God says you are not going for that operation again because that thing has been arrested. Whatever it is, it is arrested now. You will check your body and know that you are healed in the name of Jesus Christ. There's somebody here, don't be ashamed. You are a man. You have a problem around your groin where your private part is. You have a problem there. God is healing you now. God is setting you free right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet, they are healed. We bring an end to affliction and diseases. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I want you to clap your hands and give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just hold on. I'll tell you when to sit down. Just hold on. Are you getting blessed? Yes. Now, check your body. Those of you who had any condition as it were, check your body. If it's a joint, move that joint. Alright? If it's a pain somewhere, check that place if the pain has gone. If it's a swelling, whatever it is, if it's an, a headache or something, shake your head. Check it. Those of you that called somebody, call them again and confirm if they are healed. Those of you following online, if God has healed you, please send us your testimony right now, okay? 
somehow there should be a way by which they can send their testimonies online let's know what God has done for you now the rest of us can sit down glory be to God in the highest amen glory be to God in the His mercy that you're in. I want to sing an evil song. I don't know if you know it. You don't know it, right? <laughs> Give me an Igbo name now. Are you hearing me? God will give you praise. If God has healed you, step forward. Step forward. Step forward. If God has healed you, you notice the symptoms has disappeared, or there is a very noticeable improvement. Step forward. Clap for them as they are coming. Step forward. Step forward. Come and seal your healing. Whether you are a pastor, or you, just come. Yeah, form another line there. Keep clapping. Come on. They are coming. Some of you, as they are clapping, the healing is perfected. For his mercies and your end forever. Amen. For his mercies and your end forever. time glory be to God in the highest miracles let me give you the difference between a healing and a miracle a healing is the anointing takes away the spirit behind the condition then the body naturally recovers so you see that the pain starts reducing reducing till it is gone or the symptoms reduce till it's gone that's a healing but a miracle is an instant change it suddenly disappeared that one is a healing miracle 
and I know that there have been miracles as much as there has been healing. Now, who is here? I'm going to start taking the testimony soon, but let me just move in the prophetic a little. Um, okay, let me hear the testimonies quickly. Just give me like three. I want to move in the prophetic now. Yes, Apostle, quickly. There's yes. an instant miracle here. Tell me, sir. Sister Herma sent a link to her aunt in the hospital, okay. which was diagnosed yesterday, was passing on. And then after they connected with the link, the aunt was at the brink of death. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. And then they sent us a picture now that she jacked back to life now. Put, put the camera on the picture. Put it. That's, that's it. That's the person you see. Come on, give the Lord a big shot. Listen. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Amen. Anything that is at the brink of death in your life by the power of resurrection is coming back to life now. Amen. It's coming back to life now. Amen. It's coming back to life now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That's a miracle. Look at that picture. That's death completely. That person is. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Heaven and earth adore him. Angels bow before him. What a mighty God is there. strength to that woman where she is before this night is over she will rise on her feet and begin to walk and that devil is never returning again Amen. in Jesus name clap your hands and be seated yes yes sir, sir. sir there's another instant miracle here yes this brother Shama Toma he came into the service diagnosis of eye condition yes he's on medication but after the ministration, he found that there's no more pain in the eye. For over a month. For over a month. Yes, sir. And it is gone. Yes, sir. It is perfected in the name of Jesus. Clap your hands and give God praise. Yes, you can go. Yes, let me hear. Let Another me hear this instant testimony. miracle. Yes. This Lieutenant Ramola. Yes. He came into the service with a severe joint pain. This pen has been there for over nine years. But wow. after the ministration, he found that there's no more pen. Gone, sir. Yes, sir. Gone. Now, this is, this is no joke. I know him. He has never mentioned that to me. You have never mentioned it to me. He's a military personnel. Nine years. Every problem in your life that has... Listen. Any problem in your life that thinks it has, it has obtained permanent residency, we evict it tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. It will never return again, sir. Give God praise. And God use you to heal many, many others. In Jesus' name. Be seated. I'm hearing a name like, um, is it? Izu or Uzo, like Izu Chuku or Uzo Chuku, something like that. I'm hearing a name like that. I want to know who that person is. I sense that um, I'm seeing two people. I'm seeing somebody who has it as their middle name, and then I'm seeing there's somebody is someone who is related to you 
that bears that name. Like Izu Chuko or Uzo Chuko or something like that. Izu or Uzo. Come quickly. Now, there is somebody, I don't know if this person is online. If he's online, please identify, get, let us know. Where is Minister Debbie? Who is going to take the online testimonies? All right, especially when I'm prophesying to those online. I need, there, there has to be a system for it to get quickly. All right. God showed me somebody. Your first name, I don't know your two names, but God showed me, if I saw correctly, <laughs> your first, your name starts with the letter A and your son name starts with the letter O. Your name starts with the letter A and your son name starts with the letter O. Where are you? Please come quickly. Yes. What's this? Yeah, middle names are Izuchuku. Both of you Izuchuku yes. together. My eh? My cousin. Your cousin is Izuchuku. Yes, your middle name is Izuchuku. Yes. I mean, I didn't know that one. I know your name is Dominion. Have you ever told me your name is Izuchuku? Do you believe this? Sure. Mm -hmm. I like that answer, sure. Uh, just let me do something. Let me do something. You see? Okay. Let me do something. Um, you know that you're causing very well. Look at him. What's the height of your cousin and the complexion? He's six feet plus and he's dark in complexion. He's dark in complexion. Okay. The reason why I say you should look at him is because God is telling me it's the same word that I want to give him that is for your cousin. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Thank you, Father. The prophetic is not complete until a word is spoken that reveals God's plan, God's intention, the future that God has created. If I just get informations that are in the present or in the past, is not yet the prophetic. There's a reason for that. God will intend to say something that creates a desirable future for that individual. Do you want to go home? All right. Hold hands with him. Face me. Hold hands with him. Father, I pray for... You said his name is what? Izuchuku? Yes, sir. I'm seeing somebody playing football. My elder brother. Huh? Elder brother. The first son, sir. No. This is Uchuku. I'm seeing him playing a lot. Don't tell me what I'm, I'm not seeing. This is Uchuku. I'm seeing somebody who has a hobby of football. He plays football a lot. You play football too. Uh -huh. So you see, eh? right from small, you play football. You wanted to be a footballer. Uh -huh. That means what I'm saying is correct. Your Izuchuku plays football. You don't know. All right? Uh -huh. So you see, I'm not asking you because I want you to tell me. I know the one that you don't know. I know it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. That's why I said hold your hands together. Eh? Let me pray for them. Father, in the name of Jesus, God says he will reorder your steps. The Bible says the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. The steps there is not just as you are walking. It means the decisions you take. It means the principles you engaged. Father, I declare from today by the wisdom of the Spirit, to these ones, reorder their steps, bring them on track to destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen to me, young man. Go and tell this Uchuku what I said. All right, now, this is Uchuku. Yes, sir. I'm seeing somebody who plays football a lot. All right, yes, sir. But I'm seeing a grace for entrepreneurship on his life. Amen. I'm seeing him into business. Amen. Is he in the east? Where is he? 
He's in the east. <laughs> you didn't even know. <laughs> I'm seeing, I'm looking at the map of Nigeria and I'm seeing the east. He's there. Yes, sir, yes, sir. God says he's going to lift this year. God is going to do something to him that will lift him. Amen. I'm seeing a grace for entrepreneurship. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And God is about to bring him into strange levels of abundance. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Go back to your seat rejoicing. Clap for Jesus. Your name starts with A, letter A, and your son name is O. Where are you? Come. I know what I'm saying. If it's online, let us know the person, but I know what I'm saying. I know what I'm saying. Your name starts with A, and your son name starts with O. A, O. This O, the name this O name, huh? Is there something like an S in the name? That son name with O. Is there something like an S? Eh? Eh? Abraham Okay West. That's okay. her husband's name. Oh, there's an S. Yes. Now, I'm coming. That's one, but the per who, who has the name? You. Amarachi, yes. Amarachi. What's the son name? Olu. Good. First of all, that's not your father's name. That's your clan name. Clan name. Yes, sir. Good. <laughs> Can I pray for you? Now, this is a deliverance issue. Don't worry. Don't be scared. All right? God wants to set you free. Do you know why I said it's not, a, it's not your father's name? It's a clan name. The Spirit of God spoke to me on my right ear now and said, is a clan name. And instantly I saw a shrine. Yes, sir. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. You come from a lineage. Eh? There is in your village. This is your father, right? Yes, sir. Your grandfather. Did you meet your grandfather? Yes, my Ara, grandfather. Yes, Ara, 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 Kaka, si, sasia, kromo, shobra, hatea. Ara, ga, ara, ara, kara, kasa, ara, gi, ara, gadadia. I'm seeing a man who is tall. Are you hearing me? Yes, I'm sir. describing your grandfather. Yes, I'm sir. seeing a man who is tall. Yes, sir. tall. And light skin in complexion yes, like sir. that. Good. This man, there was something mysterious about him. The deformity of old age was not visible in him. Like when he was old, he could still use his eyes. Yes, he could sir. still walk up straight. Yes, sir. Is he dead now? Yes, sir. He's dead. Your family belong to a this is um, a priesthood from your village. All right, this village there are idols. Yes, sir. Different like families having their own different idols. Yeah, we also have a native doctor. <laughs> there are three chief. God is doing deliverance here. I'm in the village. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I'm in the village. I'm seeing palm front. You know palm? Palm front. Yes, that's what they put in the shrine. Palm front. You know that branch of palm tree? Palm front. Yes, you know what, what I'm talking about? Yes, sir. That's what is there. And I'm seeing there are palm trees too in your village. I'm seeing abundance. Have you been to your village before? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm seeing palm trees and coconut trees. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Good. There are three chief priesthoods among all these family idols. There are three that are chiefest in the village. Your family was one of them. Yes, sir. Your grandfather inherited, inherited it from his father. His father, the father to your grandfather was a warrior. That's what I'm seeing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. Uh, now I'm telling you, you don't know this one. Now, me, I've stepped into. I'm showing you. Are you hearing what? I, this is the prophetic. It was a warrior because I'm seeing somebody that was decorated with all kinds of things. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. But your father, your grandfather, he didn't really manifest that warrior spirit. He had the dimension he was walking in was it had to do with healing. And it had to do with wisdom. 
so people will come and consult him he can mix herbs for them and they are fine and there was a wisdom if he could tell you something and it will happen or he could tell you something you know and if you walk by it that was it that this is sorcery i'm seeing your grandfather inherited this priesthood from your great grandfather now your father where is he he's in abuja presently is he a believer yes sir good but i'm seeing your father your father has been in a particular battle in his life for the last 30 years yes sir are you hearing me hmm. when i said 30 years i'm seeing this is the age of one of his children in the last 30 years i'm seeing your father there's a particular cycle of battles he has been with it is this spirit in the lineage that is contending with him are you hearing me yes, how sir. many children are you people we are, are, we are five you are five is there somebody who is 30 years of age around that age 30 yes i have an elder brother but i don't know him you don't I've not seen him. you've not so you've not seen him yes sir you you grew up not seeing him not knowing him yes sir is that the firstborn yes sir that's the person who is 30. now thank god for the prophetic god brought you here today because he's bringing complete deliverance to your family let me pray for you lift your hands father every spirit that has tied the destinies of men in this family that will not allow them manifest their divine purpose that has tied their finances and has brought cycles of delay right now i declare that spirit is uprooted from this family that's deliverance going on there i bind that spirit now i separate you by the covenant of the blood of jesus i break that hold now i break that hold now i break that hold now some of you thought it was a joke when i was talking all those things mama let me pray for you let me pray for you what's the time 6.58 you see when you come uh, you know I know many of us you don't want to close late and all of that you see when you come for a miracle service forget about that time and just receive okay uh -huh. some of this restriction because I'm feeling it now some of you now your spirit is already away from here and this is the time your word is coming pray in the spirit for one minute Sidro Koparada la Hatriketisha. Holy, holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Mama, look at me. Your time has come. Because you came here, I will tell you things you don't know. Because you came here, God is bringing deliverance. Are you hearing me? God is going to rescue your husband and his siblings. Amen. Does your husband have brothers? Yes. He has brothers. Okay. There is a pattern that God wants to break. Amen. Come. I can't say this one out loud. Let me whisper it to you. pattern so I, I, some things will be embarrassing embarrassing now that pattern that one that is doing well eh please correct me if i'm wrong but i'm seeing somebody whose fist is tied yes. Yes. doesn't give yes okay 
God took me in the spirit to Edo State. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I landed in Benin. And then we moved out of Benin. Bush, 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 then I'm in a town. Good road. Then I get into a village. This town, this should be where your husband's village is from. Is it a popular town? Uromi. Uromi. Yes. Okay. No, okay, you've told me about Uromi before. Yes. Now, from this point, let me tell you what you don't know. Okay, I'll tell you one more you know. I know you. You've been to the village, right? Yes, sir. I see a football field. Yes, sir. Are you hearing what I'm telling yes, you? Yes, sir. I see a football field. It's not green grass completely. Mm -mm. Sand, sand, sand. Yes. The green grasses is just around it. I see a football field. The yes, posts, the goal posts are not well arranged. Yes, sir. They play football there and yes, they do sir. some community, yes, whatever, sir. around yes, there. Sir. Yes, sir. Mm. yes, sir. That's what you see in the natural. Under that ground, there are destinies that have been buried there. There are covenant. This is like people in families making covenants. Making covenants yes. with certain spirits. Because I'm seeing different families have people who were buried there. They bury destinies there. They lock. I'm seeing something like a padlock. They lock it, buried it on the ground. They, they do it at night, at midnight. But in the daytime, it's where they play football. And where they do some village celebrations and all of that. Yes, that but, was where my, my father-in-law's death uh, celebration was at. That was where, when he died. Yes. That was where they celebrated. Yes. Uh -huh. But by the power of the Holy Ghost, we step into the realm of the Spirit, to that village. Every destiny that was buried in the ground, we are it now. We are brooded now. Hey, listen. Shall the prey be taken away from the mighty or the lawful captives deliver? He said, Thus said the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. So I will contend with him that contends at Akabaya. Everything that was buried in the ground against those families. Let it be uprooted now. 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 There's a grace for deliverance. Lift your hands everywhere. Now every family here that they have tied destinies either with poverty either so that people will not do miracle every bondage of hell over any family here at the count of seven let those yokes be broken let those bonds be loosed at the count of seven shout Jesus those chains will break right now the power of God is everywhere one two three four five Six, seven, shout Jesus. Jesus! Break, 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 break. Loose, loose them now. Loose them, loose them, loose them. Let them go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let them go now. There's one of your husband's brothers. That I'm saying his own problem is the tide, his own is that one and then witchcraft. They tied his brain. You know, some things are not when you say some things, step into the spirit realm with me, then you will know. Are you hearing me? Somebody can be walking like this and his brain is not there. They remove it and put it in the calabash. You don't believe it, wait for an attack of witchcraft. They tied his brain. Let me give you the proof. The proof is that he's not switch off that phone. I'm hearing a, a phone. Switch it off quickly, please.
the, his problem eh, is naturally not a reasonable person and then he keeps making wrong decisions that's what i'm seeing i'm seeing him in between he's not the first he's not the last i'm seeing him in between one of them that's why i'm seeing somebody who is um, like your color a bit lighter just a bit lighter than you is one of your husband's brothers god is releasing his mind right now amen that guy is supposed to be very industrious yes. it tied his mind yes, sir. he makes wrong decisions and he's not a he doesn't reason very well so people yes, don't even take him as a serious yes, person sir. Yes, sir. are you hearing me yes, sir. i'm looking at you i'm seeing somebody who, whose height is not too far yes, from you it's like us, that's his name yes. good but Father, by your mercy, we declare his liberation now. Amen. We declare his liberation now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, the prosperity in that family that was buried, I release it to all of them right now. Amen. I release the destiny of prosperity in that family. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shout a louder amen. I'm still praying. God bless you, ma. You can return to your seat. Look at me, madam. Look at me. Look at me, my dear. Look at me. Are these things true? Yes, sir. Are you sure? 100%. Any doubt in your mind? Not at all. All right. Thank you. Because yes, there are people who don't believe again. I want to pray against witchcraft. Put your right hand on your chest. There's going to be deliverance now. I see witchcraft arrows. I see pots in the spirit where some people have been closed. Your destiny was closed in a, a pot, a calabash. Father, anyone under witchcraft manipulation, Father, show me by the release of your power. I declare their liberty now. I declare their liberty now. I break the power of witchcraft now. I arrest witchcraft now. Be free now. In the name of Jesus. Good. Yes, they will manifest now. Those people, they will manifest. They will manifest. Witchcraft manipulations. Be loose. Be loose. Be loosed. I lose you. I break that mirror. I destroy that calabash now. That pot, I set it on fire. Loose them now. 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 Every witch, every wizard, by the authority of him that died and rose again, I bring your judgment now. And I command you, let them go. Let them go. Let them go. Let them go. Somebody will drop dead because of this miracle service. Yeah. Don't, don't worry, you will hear it. You, you hear all the testimony. Somebody will come and say, Papa said so so. I'm not yet, I didn't come to play games with you. The Holy Ghost and I came here for your deliverance. Somebody is dropping dead this month. And anyone that will not allow you to rest or your family members to know peace. In this month of February, by the God that I serve, may the earth swallow them now. May the earth swallow them now. In the name of Jesus. There's a family I'm seeing here. This strong person is a woman. Right now, that woman is struck with paralysis. You see, that's a confirmation. I'm speaking to the strong man there and then the person here is having... Yeah, you don't worry. You hear, you hear the news, you'll come back. And that woman will remain there till I decide that God should have mercy. If they say they will not let you rest, we'll show them that all power belongs to God. I want you to pray in one minute. Judgment against every evil around me. Pray in one minute. 
Let's do it quickly now. Stretch your hands towards the prayer request. I'll pray for the request. Speak over us. We'll hear more of the testimonies. And then we'll close. Is that okay? Maybe 7.30 we should be done. Alright? Those of you that are outside, I apologize. Okay? But God is doing a lot of work here. Stretch your hands to this. Uh, deliverance will continue to the end of the service. All kinds of deliverance. All kinds. Just leave them. Don't bring them to me. There's a power at work. There are angels. They'll be delivered completely. Are you hearing me? Stretch your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, I call upon the God of my covenant. Father, I'm asking you, turn every request here to a testimony. Turn every request to a testimony. According to the time of life, we declare that this request becomes testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ, let job opportunities be released. Let financial destinies be released. Visas be released. Businesses prosper. Let families be settled by your power. Let there be marital settlements. Let the sick be healed. Let deliverances come to everyone that is down. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, those who have written prayer requests that they have been writing before, let this be the last time that they write it as a request. Father, give me this one as a birthday gift. Everybody who has submitted requests here or online, give them their testimony this month. In the name of Jesus Christ. Would you clap your hands and give Jesus praise? In the name of Jesus. Now let me speak over your lives. Alright? Let me speak over your lives now. We'll end with the testimonies. But I want to pray. Lift your hands. Now, Father, in the name of Jesus, every stubborn cycle around the life of your people, we break that cycle now. We break that cycle now. Every negative pattern orchestrated by darkness, let that pattern be arrested once and for all. Anyone here suffering from ancestral or transgenerational bondage, yokes, afflictions, battles, torments. No more shall this proverb be used in Israel that the fathers have eaten sour grapes and the children's teeth are set on edge. On the strength of that declaration, I bring an end to that transgenerational bondage. I bring an end to that ancestral pattern. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because you came here tonight, it ends with you. It ends with you. Listen to me. I invoke the favor of God upon your life from today. The favor of God that gives you access to opportunities, to resources, and to the hearts of men. Receive it in the name of Jesus. The favor that provokes speedy results. According to Esther chapter 2 verse 9. The favor that provokes speedy results. Speedy provisions. 
take that grace in the name of Jesus. I said, take that grace in the name of Jesus. The favor that will make everyone that set eyes on you to favor you. According to Esther chapter 2 verse 15, receive it now. Receive it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. That good thing that you have been trusting God for. That desire. Before the end of February. May the God whose I am and whom I serve grant your request. In the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone fighting invisible battles. Battles that are bigger than you. Under any kind of torment. I release the power of God for your liberty now. I declare, be free now. Be free now. Be free now. In the name of Jesus Christ. God will pursue your pursuers. God will attack your attackers. And I declare for you that in 2024, walk in uncommon prosperity. I'm talking about prosperity that defies every natural limitation from your lineage. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that it is well with you this month. You will experience divine intervention this month. You will experience divine intervention this month. The hand of God be released upon your life and all that you do. Finally, I'll pray for your spiritual life. This is where you get to receive anointings and greatest. Lift your hands. Father, anyone trusting you for any grace, right now as the heavens are open, I invoke the covenants I have with you and the altars that I'm representing. And I declare that that grace is released into their life. Oh yeah, that's the power of God now. That's the power of God. Let that mantle, let that grace, that anointing that will propel you to the next level. Help them everywhere. Let it be released now, 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 now. Now, help that brother. Now, now, now. Touch in the name of Jesus. I place a fire on your prayer altar that puts you always on fire throughout this year. Always on fire throughout 2024. Step into that place right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your life will never remain the same. I activate your dreams. I activate your visions. I activate your spiritual senses. Oh, help them there. I activate your visions. I activate the grace for visions. The grace for dreams. The grace of revelations. Receive it in the name of Jesus. That's it. That's the power of God. That's the, everywhere. That's the power of God. Help them. That's the power of God. That's the power of God. Step into your next level. Step into your next level. Step into that place. Now, 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 now. I declare that you will arise and shine in this moment because your light has come. The glory of God has risen upon you. Wave your hands and give Jesus praise. Hallelujah.